Good morning, everybody. This is the weekly instruction video. So I'm going to walk you through the things that are in Schoology and show you the different Google Docs that you have that you're going to be working on over the course of this week. I just want to just start you out with Schoology again. And so when you first log in and you get to your English class, you're going to see the extended flex learning folder. These are still those audio books that you can read and listen to for free. And these are instructions on how to use Flipgrid because some of you still aren't using Flipgrid. So you'll see over here on the upcoming, your calendar, your Greek mythology story choices due this morning, your GOAT slideshow is due this morning, your exit slip from Friday is due today by midnight. This is the weekly office hours or email check-in. And then these are the two new activities that I have for you this week, and you'll see that they're due on Monday. So just looking at this spot right here in Schoology is going to give you your um, assignments at a glance. And so then you have some different options. You could just click on these and it will open up the assignments or you can go in through Schoology. I'm going to show you by navigating through the extended flex learning folder just because that's the um, that gives you the overview of the entire course. So when you click on the extended flex learning folder, you'll see the same things that you've seen for the first two weeks. Here is the contact me information for my um, office hours. And again, they're from 10 a.m. to noon every day. The weekly office hours or email check-in. If you look at this assignment, I talked about this in the agenda this morning, but again, you're required to check in at least one time, either during my Google Meet or via email. If you're going to check in via email, you're going to make sure that you have all the parts in the anatomy of a good email section from this site and in the body of your email you're answering this question what is one positive you've discovered during this time of distance learning that's the piece that i'm looking for for the extended learning um, i'm sorry for the office hours email check-in so back into the extended learning folder here's the week one work i'm not going to hide any of these Okay, here's the week two work. And so you'll see there's the instructions video, which is what this is. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a planning checklist or not simply because you now have access to this document through advisory. So what this document is, it's this week in all of your core classes. So you'll know for English, you should be working on these two assignments. And instead of giving you um, what you should work on each day, I'm, I'm going to let you plan that out as it works best for your schedule, okay? And so just know you got the assignments today. You have until 8 a.m. on Monday to turn in these two assignments and then the exit slip that you'll get on Friday, just like the one we just did, is going to be due at midnight on Monday. So you will not see in week three this planning checklist because you have access to this and I will be linking to this document in that space just because I'm not going to give you day by day breakdown. So when we go into week three, what you're going to see is this is the daily agenda video that I've already done and our two assignments. So the first one is a TED Talk assignment and this is a Google Doc. And so you know what this looks like when you open up your document. I'm just going to go back here for later on. This is what you're going to see. So your job is to read through this document. Most TED Talks have the following characteristics in common, so read through what those characteristics are. You're going to go to TED.com and or TED-Ed, and this is the link for TED-Ed. These are live links. You'll be able to just click on them and go. And you're going to find and watch three different TED Talks. Each talk should be between 5 and 15 minutes long. 
You're going to copy and paste the complete URLs for the three TED Talks you watched that you chose. So just highlight, copy, and paste here. And again, they should be live links. So I can click on them and I can go out and find them. Then you're going to do the understanding piece, focusing on the content. You're going to choose one of these three videos to focus on for the rest of this sheet. And you're going to answer the following questions using complete sentences. Okay, complete sentences, super important, ladies and gentlemen, is what you need to be doing. Complete sentences. Copy and paste the URL. You just copy it from up here, here. And then you're going to answer these questions about your TED Talk. Then you're going for the analysis, you're going to focus on the format of the TED Talk. So I want you to go back and watch the video again and use the and answer the following questions using complete sentences. You're using specific information from your TED Talk. So this is the format, what a TED Talk looks like, those qualities and characteristics. The understanding part is the content of the talk. The analysis is the effectiveness of the presentation. So include specific information from your TED Talk. So for the first question, how did the speaker or performer use the space on the stage? Did they stay in one space or did they move around? I don't want you to type, they moved around. They stood in one spot. Give me the name and details from the TED Talk. So for example, Julian Treasure stayed in one place. You might remember the Julian Treasure active listening videos. Evelyn Glennie moved around the stage to get to her per, um, percussion instruments. Again, detailed information from the TED Talk. And so these are the two pieces that you're doing after you watch your video. Going back now, to our week three, we have the Dear Future Me assignment. And again, this is a Google Doc. And when you open that up, it looks like this. Now, this is a little bit more detailed than the TED Talk. You can break this up to however it works best for your schedule over the course of the week. Okay, so you're going to answer the following questions in list format. Just organize your thoughts here and you should have at least three items and you can always add more. Now this is in connection to us sheltering in place for COVID-19 and I will clear, make sure I clarify that in the assignment. Okay, so answer the following question. So what has changed in your day-to-day -day life based on now that we're sheltering in place? Okay which of these changes have caused some stress. So you can see here are the changes and then each of these questions build on this. And again, we're talking about sheltering in place right now with COVID-19. And so you can see there are nine different things and I'm looking for three bullet points, okay? You, you can certainly add more, but I don't need more than three. So I only gave you five spaces just because Five is a good number, but you need a minimum of three. And that is um, in the instructions up here. And once you've done that, you've created your bulleted list, you're going to take these lists and turn them into complete sentences using the questions to help you create the sentence. So for example, three things that changed in my daily life were using a camera instead of talking to people, exercising at home instead of at the gym, and having to schedule my day differently. So this would be my first sentence based on this question. So notice it again is a complete sentence. Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your nine sentences into a paragraph and you can just start typing it here and going down the page. And again, it's just taking these sentences and turning them into a paragraph and then the last thing you're going to do is you are going to put your paragraph into an email format and you're going to call it Dear Future Me. You're going to insert your paragraph, this paragraph right here, into this spot. You can change the wording format to make the paragraph sound more like you. And then you're going to insert your closing. A closing is a sincerely, take care, peace out, um, thank you. Um, something like that, some way that you're letting the reader of the email know that you are ready to exit and then you sign your name at the end. Okay, so this is going to be the Dear Future Me assignment.
This is the TED Talk assignment. And when you're here in week three of Schoology, that's what I'm referring to right here. So please take some time, look through all of the instructions, look at the daily agenda. If you have questions, please come to my office hours, please send me an email, and I'm here to help you do the work that you need to do. And just again, let me know what it is that you need from me.